Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. I'm Discoviovic, aka Hey, aka Game Master in Grid. My pronouns are she, her, in case you're wondering about that. I am a long time player and Star Stable employee, and I'm here to show you the horse progression update. I have the honor of Game Master B and Game Master Stacy joining me today, and they are here to talk about the update and hear your feedback and, most of all, answer your questions. Would you like to introduce yourself, guys? Definitely. Yeah. I'll, I am uh, Stacy. I'm game director for Star Stable. My pronouns are she, her, and I have been with Star Stable for many a year at this point, and very excited to talk to you guys today about horse progression. That, that's me. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And hello, my name is Breton, but some might know me on online as Game Master B. Uh, my pronouns are they, them, and I'm the lead game designer here at Star Stable. My job as game designer is to kind of lead the other designers, the teams, the projects uh, on a lot of big initiatives, but most importantly, I ask questions. So how do you build a relationship with your horse, or how do we make leveling up as fun and satisfying as possible? These are the kind of questions that keep me awake at night and excite me most, and I work very hard to figure that out. Uh, I love trying new things and telling stories of all the stuff I learn. That's me in a nutshell. <laughs> Love to this. Hear that. I didn't prepare well <laughs> enough, I guess. <laughs> I like if it. If there's anything you want to add, then do feel free to do so. I'm not that exciting. No. I mean, you are. <laughs> you always have a fun new things to share. Okay, speaking of new things, uh, today we will be talking about the horse progression, which is very exciting. Uh, we are going to talk about some very interesting updates to the HUD and the UI and explain a bit more what that is and also what it means for the future of SSO and mm -hmm. also the future of horse bonding as well as the rest of the horse progression development that's going on and <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah excellent that's, I guess we can kick it off there yeah, well, I'll go ahead and start with horse progression. So uh, horse progression kind of begins where last year's horse purchasing update leaves off. Our focus is on making the leveling experience between horse level 1 and horse level 15 as satisfying and rewarding as possible. We want players to strive to reach max level with their horses and to make that process as accessible and fun as possible, even for players who don't really enjoy racing or the competitive side of our game. So this update is absolutely massive and contains a lot of changes to how the game is played, how it looks and how it feels. Uh, but this includes a lot of some of the, the new much desired features such as the ability to train your horse uh, to follow you without a lead rope and more. So I think maybe some of you, uh, while we're, we're going through and do we want to play the game, Ingville, and yeah. kind of show off some of the features that way? Absolutely. I have even bought a new horse for the occasion. He is level one. So uh, we are all ready to Me. level up this one. Mm -hmm. And also, for those wondering, we are live at the moment uh, and I am planning to do my best on uploading this to YouTube so you can rewatch it or watch it later if you can't see all of it now, which will likely then be under my YouTube name, which is also Discoviovic. So that's in case you were wondering about that. Mm -hmm. So, B, where do you think we should start? With, well, uh... maybe we should start by, I'm going to throw around some terminology today, like HUD and UI. And I thought maybe it'd be good first just to explain for you know the people out there not currently making games for a living, just the differences between those two things. So if you look at the screen right now, Everything that's not the, the, the world of Jorvik itself is the HUD. It's, HUD stands for Heads Up Display. And it's all the elements that kind of stand in front of the screen while you're playing. So that's where you're going to see things like the, the horse and player icons, the XP bar, the mini-map, and a lot of the buttons that you use to access some of the deeper UI we have in our game. Uh, do you want to go ahead and open the uh, chat or the character inventory? I can do that. We can open both if you want. Yes. Look at this. Oh, you've got a new design since last I saw it. I love yes. that. Yes. 
Uh, oh, this is nice. So I'll we'll note quick that some of what you're seeing now is still work in progress, but a lot of these kind of uh, deeper elements like the inventory and the backpack and some of these spaces here, uh, this is UI. It's not necessarily HUD that we're focusing on. So these are here because players often write around the world with these two elements open, but a lot of the other UI we have in the game, uh, if you want to open the character inventory real quick, uh, mm -hmm. has been largely untouched. Hang on. Uh, there we go. I, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Trying to remember the hotkeys. I yep. uh, don't remember buttons. Speaking of, we have new buttons down here. I guess you were going to touch on that. Yes, yes. I'll, I'll yes. kind of give a, a quick run through everything, uh, but focus on the new features. But so, as you'll see, there's a lot of the HUD, or sorry, the UI that we've had in the game for many, many years now, right? That's the character inventory, uh, the achievements, a lot of the UI has not changed. Um, and the UI is all the things that don't sit in front of the screen, usually while you're playing. Um, and so we're still keeping a lot of that UI style, right? Um, but why have we changed the UI is a question that we've seen quite a lot too. And every time I see it, I just want to shout it as loud as I can so everyone can hear. Uh, largely, we've updated the, the HUD of the game, even though we love the old uh, UI or the old HUD, and it, we, a, lot of the player, a lot of us here at the studio grew up with that HUD. Uh, we changed it because there's a lot of new features and new stuff that we're putting into the game that we just don't have uh, the functionality for in the old HUD. And so the new HUD and UI gives us a lot of potential to add a bunch of new exciting features to the game. Uh, if you want to go ahead and close the character inventory, maybe mm -hmm. we can go through and talk about some of those new features. Yes. Yes. So maybe Which... one moment, my cat is drinking water <laughs> was, out of the cup on my desk. That was exciting to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they can't see it, but just imagine a cat drinking my water. Uh, so. Uh, let's take, for example, some of the features that you all know and love already. So we'll start with horse care. Right now, yes. we've added a new way and some new benefits to doing horse care. So right now, uh, we currently have the E to interact on the horse. But now, no, if I go, Q. yeah, now we're oh, changing yeah. that to oh. cube. We'll we'll get there. So if you open this, you'll notice now there's a ton of new options, right? In addition to, you'll notice all the horse care things now have a little bit of horse experience that we give you for completing it. Uh, so right now you're at a level one horse. Go ahead and pick the hooves of the horse here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And now it's increased a yes. little bit of the level up there, as you can so see. You uh, might... I'm aware, sorry, that the, the stream quality might not be perfect. Um, so we'll just have to make do with what we can and then Pretend you see the small details, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, excellent. So uh, one thing that you may have noticed, and go ahead and do another horse care here. You'll notice mm -hmm. that anytime the horse is oh. gaining XP now, you'll notice that you'll, you'll notice I... some particle effects getting sucked up into the horse. Uh, we decided to really visualize the horse care that's being done. Uh, I have a complaint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't give my horse an apple, and I brought an apple for the occasion. Oh, oh my no. goodness. <laughs> uh, I the think if you still... We'll, you we'll still be sure to catch that. Yeah, you can still drag and drop as before. So if you just click the apple and drag it onto the horse, that'll do. But that's a good catch. Maybe you need to close the... Yeah, <laughs> there we are. Yeah, so you'll notice here, as the horse is fed, voila! There's a, now a particle effect that comes with that, right? And so now, wanna... yes, we'll yeah. get to that in just a moment. Okay. Uh, but we really want to emphasize that horse care now is a good path to getting XP. Uh, and so this is a little bit of reward you can do every day. And every horse care gives you about 50 XP. And you get some bonus amount of XP for completing all the horse care. So this is something that we really wanted to add a really nice touch you know give you a real reason to want to do horse care as opposed to it just being purely a chore um, now that we've gotten enough xp to level up if we look in the upper left hand corner 
you'll see our beautiful new character and horse portraits that actually have the character's face and the I horses. I was going to say, we need to talk about this, because this is one of the things I'm most excited about. If you can see, that it's a very small icon, but when you take off the tack, or when you change the tack, it will update the way you and your horse look mm. in the icons, and you will also see it for other people. Right now it's not working properly, uh, it's showing zeros, uh, but it's amazing and I think that's really cool. Okay, sorry, mm -hmm. dumb fangirling. <laughs> yes, no, that's great. Uh, so now when your horse has reached level up, you'll notice that the icon in the upper left hand corner starts to twinkle a little bit. And the XP bar that was once there, that, that appears when you mouse over, uh, turns into a big level up button. Uh, so we'll go ahead and press that. And it sparkles. Yes, it's very pretty. So, now that we're looking at the new level up screen, this here, if you want to pan and show all the rewards going left to right, kind of scroll through there, uh, you should be able to click and drag, or you can use the arrows on the left and right. Oh, I can drag, yes. There we yes. are. You will mm -hmm. see that we've mapped out all of the rewards that players can get all the way from level 1 to 15 with their horse. Starting with that level 1, of course, a spark of connection, something special that unites you and your horse at early levels, right? Uh, you'll notice that at level two, we've unlocked fast gallop uh, or a, an even faster gallop. Um, one of the big changes we have coming out in this update is that low level horses and low level players will be moving much faster than they did previously. Uh, we noticed from watching new players play the game, and even when us on the team would go through and play the game, it felt a lot like riding a snail at low levels. So one of the things we've done is we've boosted the speed of that quite a bit, and we've kind of used some of the, the elements of that to sprinkle as rewards throughout the leveling experience. Uh, so right now I can see that I have fast gallop ready to go. Uh, I can click level up, and I want, when you click this, to admire the particle effect that happens. It's a, a celebration! Moment. Yes. It's so much fun. Um, we do have a lot of questions uh, regarding mm -hmm. stable code. It's just, we are going to be answering lots of questions as we go through, um, but I guess we can take this right now, and that is, yeah. if you have stable care, can you still get for your horse and get XP, and will stable care give your horses XP? Two great questions. So, right now, stable care does not give your horse XP, but Doing stable care takes care of the horse's mood, which is really, really important. But you can still log in, even if you have stable care, you can still log in and you can give your horse up to 300 XP per day doing horse care. So we, we wanted to add an incentive. We don't want to take away what you all really already love and appreciate. Uh, so we want to try to make this uh, as enjoyable without removing the parts of things you already enjoy. Yes. Did that answer the had... question? Yes, absolutely. Great. I had something in mind. I forgot what it was. It was something. I will mention if if I yes. if I do remember. On to uh, oh all yes, talking about car stable now. Anyway, yeah, so, I see yeah. that it's hilarious and April Fools. Um, yes, I remember what it was. Uh, because there has also been a lot of concern regarding having to level up your horse to be able to do the fast gallop, and you have now mm -hmm. seen how easily it is to unlock it. Like you literally just have to feed your horse. And pick the hooves, and you will be able to sprint. That is everything that is required. Yes. Yes. And, and I think that's really important. Thank you for catching that. I, I think that's something that, uh, you know, fast gallop is something the horses can do today already. Uh, but what we wanted to do was really make sure that you can, because we've sped up those low-level horses quite a lot, we still want a level one horse, even compared to a level two or three horse, to feel like it's it's going a bit slower. So even that first level or two, there is a noticeable speed increase. And as you've seen here, it takes more than, no more than 30 seconds to, to get to level two if you do your horse care. Um, do you and want to... there, were, oh, there were some questions as well. Like if your horse is already max level, you won't you won't lose that. So they'll no. stay at level fifteen. Uh, when we do introduce the new kind of experience distribution, there might be some level adjustments. Your horse won't lose the amount of experience, but because we are actually going out with uh, some slight adjustments to make the leveling process more even, uh, there could be a couple levels. I don't remember which ones that are going to drop down. So I think it was 11 and 12 
might be a bit yes you might drop down to 11 but if your horse is already 15 uh, you won't lose that at all yes and and i think it's you you mentioned something very important there stacy no xp is lost you yeah. might, if you're right on around level 10, 11, or 12, you might notice your your horse going down a little bit or even going up. I think some characters might log in if they're right on the edge and find themselves leveled up. Uh, but you, no amount of XP has changed. We're just making it so the lower levels go a bit faster and those last couple levels go a bit faster. Exactly. And that's going to happen before the full horse progression is released. So we actually have yes. that set coming out. I don't know if you're going to cover this in your... In the, in the list today, but I just wanted yep. to address it because it was coming uh, in the chat a little bit. Yes. Yeah, that, that part will be coming out a little bit sooner, and we will find out more soon. Yeah. Uh, uh, to, to answer just a, a couple other questions I see in the chat here, uh, Ebba, the, the total XP, yes, will in fact stay the same. Uh, yes, yes, the visual level might change slightly, but, but even then, you should be able to complete a race or two or even horse care and recover that. Uh, and then how fast can you do go? We are not increasing the maximum speed, but we are changing the way that we give out speed at lower levels. Um, and we've also made it so that the horse mood uh, impacts lower level players a bit less. We found that some players that made a new character on Sunday and then logged out for played for 15 minutes or so and then logged out for the week to log in next sunday suddenly we're writing a very very slow snail right um and that didn't feel very good so in addition to speeding up some of the horses uh very like new players uh will find that the horse mood is is much less of an impact uh, i just learned something new and i am so Hyped. I love anything I can interact with, and I just realized I can turn the horse around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is nice. Maybe maybe in the background here you can uh, uh, go ahead and do the horse care, and um, uh, also uh, pause when you get to the shared moments. Yes. Um, I can maybe explain a couple other things about the, the UI here. Um, We'll look to the other upper corner. Right now, we've moved the map up to the top. If you look at where the screen is right now, where the ca where the camera is facing, you'll notice that it's off the ground. Because players were turning to the right or turning to the left, uh, we noticed that there was a bit of a blind spot for where you know you might want to move. So by moving the map to the upper right hand corner, somewhere where players want to be looking at the map quite a lot to help them navigate. Uh, it takes it off the ground so you can actually see where you're going to be moving uh, while still being somewhere that's just a quick glance away. I think it might take a little bit of time for players to adjust to this, uh, but we're very sure that, or we really hope that this this is something that we'll settle into and find a good uh, uh, position for here. Um, Yes, so let's go ahead and do this. On, oh, on the note, we could probably mention that I think something that we would like to do that I know a lot of players would like to have down the road is being able to decide where they put things on, on the mm, hood yes. themselves. So right now we have, we've placed it you know, in the top right corner, but there's hopefully a day will come when you can kind of customize and decide where you would like the map to go. Yes, yes. And possibly also the sizes of things, like Jess is mentioning here to adjust the size of the UI to your own preference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are working on adaptive scaling now because right now the HUD does not scale according mm -hmm. to it. It's stuck, it's sticky depending on your, your screen size, but that is something that we're looking into is adaptive scaling so that as your screen size gets larger, it doesn't get teeny tiny. That's a big uh, um, complaint of a lot of people because it yeah. gets hard to see. So we are looking into that, and that's a step even before customization. Mm. And and I also think just to kind of improve accessibility and make it so that yeah. if I, you know, I myself, I have bad eyes. If I want everything to be just a bit bigger, the mini map, the icons, everything, I can scale that up totally regardless of, of mm -hmm. the my screen size. So, yeah, uh, yeah great note. Uh, maybe here we can we can touch on this next part here. Uh, this is something we're calling shared moments. Uh, as I spend time in game, uh, 
I'm spending time with my horse, whether I'm role-playing with friends or I'm chatting in Steve's farm or I'm out running other races, time spent with my horse should be building my relationship with my horse. And because we really want to kind of tie together horse level as a kind of a, a measure of how bonded you've been, uh, we really wanted to make sure that periodically your horse prompts you with something. So you'll notice that you'll get a small icon that, that lights up that tells you that, oh, the horse now has an interaction. It wants to interact or it, it needs something. Um, or you notice something with your horse. So players can choose when they want to interact with this. But in this case, uh, Hayes just go ahead, has just gone ahead and, and ex like chosen to, to do the, the shared moment. And so what happens here is your horse prompts you with something. In this case, Spotlight is hesitating, ears up and alert. Go ahead and click through to the next. Uh, and you as a player can kind of decide, well, what kind of a writer am I? Who do I want my, my horse to see me as? Am I the stern, uh, the stern writer who wants to have a very disciplined horse? It's nothing, but we'll push through. Or, you know, if you're more on the, the, the side that wants to really, you empathize with the horse and you want to have, you know, a, a very different kind of relationship. Okay, well, hey, maybe you need to give the moment the horse a moment to inspect what's alerting them or, or go a different way. Uh, but these are purely a narrative decision. There's, there's no right or wrong with this. This is a moment for you to consider what your relationship to your horse looks like. And this is something that in the future, we really would love to expand upon with more personality, more animations, everything else. But for this first pass, this is purely narrative. There's no wrong answers. Uh, and they're just neat little moments to kind of connect with your horse. So Maybe we uh, should let the chat decide what kind of action we should do. Should we let the horse think about this? Or do we push forward? Or do we go a different way to avoid the issues? I want to hear the chat's thoughts. In the meantime, Jess asked, is there a set time between the shared moments or is it based on the activity amount? This is, it is a, it is a set time that's a bit, it's got some randomness to it. So it's, it's between every 20 to 40 minutes. So it's not happening constantly, right? But every once in a while, uh, it'll fire up. You'll get a bit of a notification and a bit of a sound, and that's your opportunity to do this. And you can do this whenever you like. You can do it during a race or just when you're on your own, away from everything else. I think Beck has the most votes. Yep, the Which top one. The, okay. the top one. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got some XP. Horse XP, that is. Yes. And so, that bar go up. That's beautiful. Yes. I love it. So now maybe what we can do is let's just complete a quick race, um, and that should get you to level three. And if you look yes. on, if you hover over the horse XP bar now, you'll see that already just from one shared experience and the the training, you're twenty points off from hitting level three. So you're already really really close. Uh, so we'll do a quick race here. And I can mention one of the things we really wanted to be careful of is we have players who really love racing in our game, right? And we don't want to make the competitions any less. Wow, look at you, Major League Gamer over here. <laughs> Epic Taking Gamer moves, <laughs> jumping over the, <laughs> over the fences. Um, I am not a good racer for as much as I play this. Uh, but anyway, uh, we really don't want to make that any less rewarding. So. We're not removing any amounts of XP. You get just as much XP uh, running the races. But with the new uh, XP that you're getting from horse care and from the shared moments, some players should be even, even able to level up faster if that's what they really are going for. Um, and the fact that you can perform horse care on multiple horses a day means that I can go to my stable and give a good chunk of XP, 300 XP, to as many horses as you'd like and you've got. Uh, 200 horses, here I come. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> this is going to be my new full-time job. I have maybe to, sorry, I have to go down bit. to 50% <laughs> work time because I have to feed all my horses every day. <laughs> um, Breton, I was going to ask if I remember correctly, the level up does not persist across play sessions, right? You need to level up before you log out. 
Uh, no, I believe it does. I believe it <gasps> nice. does. Yeah, I think my yes. game crashed and I was able to log up, lo level up after logging in. That was a difficult one. Uh, nice. Someone did also Thank ask you. how much uh, horse XP the um, shared moments gives, uh, and that depends on your level. So it yes. will increase with the level of your horse. Exactly. Exactly. So. Uh, it is always really, really valuable to do that. It gives you a good chunk of XP, regardless of how much level you're at. Um, yes, but so now we're going to level up one more time here, the old-fashioned way. And if you want to go ahead and click on the level up button. Bam, ba, bam. Yes, you'll notice at this level we unlocked lead rope. Now, this has been a bit of a contentious topic, right? Because there are players who've un who've who've paid for the lead rope service before and have got that now as a kind of a permanent addition to what you can do with your horses. For everybody that's bought lead rope, you have it at level one. You don't have to level up a horse at all to unlock this. You just got it right out the box if you bought it. Um, for everybody else, now you've got to earn it. Uh, you can log in and level up your horse, and it unlocks lead rope for your specific horse. This is something that we felt was really important to give at low levels because this felt like something that, you know, is part of the equestrian experience. Leading your horse is, is one of the first steps in really training and bonding and connecting with it. So it's something that we felt was really important. Uh, and uh, Jess, I saw a question there. Can you open photo mode while leveling up uh, with the animation? Yes, yes, absolutely, of course. Uh, one thing as well uh, is you can also see other people's horses level up. Um, where is a horse trainer near here? Uh, what we can do is... That's at Mar... Bar Marley's? Marley's? This way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, because Barney is with the silo and then Carno Carney is at the, the manor. Yeah. yeah. They asked my favorite question. Are you ready? <gasps> do you get to do the same race but with different horses? Okay, yes. <laughs> Some of you may have remembered the blog post I wrote back in September, October, maybe. Uh, I just realized something before we go on to the trainer, yeah. uh, is that you will not be able to see players log up, level up with the trainer. They have to do it manually. Aha, uh -huh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, bummer. I realized that with... Uh... All right, a bug. We're still, yeah. we're still, still testing things. Um, but... Uh... What I can say quick about the, the being able to rerun the same race on different horses, this is something that we've been, we worked on for a few good months, and the solution we came up with was unfortunately really, really easy to exploit. And so we took a step back. We're taking it out of horse progression, the release that will come sooner than later. Uh, and instead are going to move that to kind of a high priority project. Hopefully we'll get to a little bit later on. Uh, right now we're, we are like actively as we, well, not as we speak, it's, it's the evening, but we are working on technology that makes it much easier and much more, much less exploitable for players to be able to play the same race on different horses. So you can train as many horses as you like. And for those of you that are end of content, we really want to make sure that you can't run out of things to do with Star Stable. There's another horse that needs training. So we're all, and I, even you, Stacy, have been one of the biggest advocates for it's this. It's my, num my number one request. Um, yes. Uh, Chris messaged me, you can see each other level up. It's been fixed in this build. Aha! At the horse we trainer. did it. Um, but yes, multi multiple races, multiple horses. What, what did we call it? One race, many horses one is my race, number one <laughs> request. And I bug the team about it all the time. I'm very sorry. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> it's no longer a new day, a new race. It's just a new hour, a new race. We saw it. It race. worked. Hey. Yes. Uh, yeah, so that's network. So part of the reason we made the level up uh, be a button that I choose when I level up uh, is for a couple kind of technical reasons. Uh, one of those is because the main way you get XP is from leveling up, uh, or is, is for completing quests. And there are some quests that start cutscenes. And so if you are looking away from the player character and your horse and suddenly off 
screen, your horse does this big, cool, epic level-up moment, well, then that was a bit of a missed opportunity. Dang. And the other reason is because we want players to be able to share the celebration of leveling up your horse with other players. So if I ride over to Steve's farm where there's a bunch of players hanging out, I could take a bit of a victory lap. Ding, I just hit level 15. Uh, and that's a cool moment we want players to be able to share with each other. This also lays the groundwork for some super secret stuff I'm not allowed to talk about that we really, really want to do. And <laughs> there is a reason why uh, the level up is a button. We intend to do some really cool stuff to make that moment even more special in the future. Place your best That's series right like, now. <laughs> yeah, right? I was almost like, oh, what, what stuff? I know what you're talking about. You know the stuff, Stacey. <laughs> no, but that was my reaction as well when we talked about it earlier today. I was like, what was it? <laughs> you made it sound so exciting. It is. I know all the it secrets. Is. Yes, yes. Um, no, so, so continuing here, <laughs> Uh, maybe you can go ahead and, and level up at the horse trainer, uh, and we'll kind of unlock some things as we go through. Uh, maybe one of the first things I want to point out is some levels where, uh, if you want to open the level up screen real quick, mm -hmm. I can show. No. Yes. Oh, there we go. Stop leveling up. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> um... Yes, so some of these levels where you'll see that the icon is a bit smaller, right now, uh, that is where you are not getting anything, no new feature, no new thing from Level Up. And we're leaving that blank because we have a lot of exciting plans to expand upon this in the future, especially with some of our long-term updates and goals like the, the personality project and, and a lot of other things we have kind of cooking for, for later this year and early or sometime next year um, is to fill some of these slots with more stuff. Um, I can maybe mention just a couple extra things here. Uh, you may have noticed during the horse level up that we have made it much, much cheaper to level up your horse uh, through the trainer. So, you know, uh, for, I think previously it cost a, a, an absurd amount of star coins to like fully level up a horse using the trainer. Uh, now it's much more accessible uh, for players that just have a level they want to get through quick. Um, now you and that, do that will be out soon. That yes, will be out and that'll be soon. out soon. That That's uh, that's coming out a bit before uh, the rest of horse bonding. And can, can you I look just... back... Sorry, yes? Oh, I was just going to say, uh, could you look back quick at the upgrade for level 5? And I'll just briefly explain there. Yes. Uh, but what was your question? No, I was just going to take a moment and be the old player going, I remember when level 14 took a week. <laughs> <laughs> so that I actually used yeah. the horse trainer back then because it was pain to get through. Yeah. Just spending three weeks leveling one horse. That yeah. Was, um, it was a time. <laughs> well, it doesn't take three weeks anymore, but uh, we've still made it a bit faster than it is now with uh, all the new ways you can get horse XP. Um, oh. But level 5, I just want to point out quick. Go ahead and click that, and this will go through and explain the reward a bit more. But historically, right now when you all log in on live, you'll see that uh, every time I level up, I'm getting a couple points in stats. My horse is going a little bit faster. But we felt a little bit like getting like 1% faster every level really didn't feel very good, right? So what we've done instead is we've added kind of these big moments where your bond with your horse is kind of unlocked. Your your abilities your horse knew it never knew it had. And so we're giving big bursts of stats every few levels instead. That means that at level 5, you will feel your horse going faster. At level 9, you're going to feel it faster again. And 13, your horse is going to be going as fast as it can, uh, excluding player level, because player level still speeds you up to a certain point. Uh, you can go ahead and close out of this and horse trainer again, and we'll explain the level 7 rewards, which are another kind of juicy bundle there. Brilliant. All right. So, uh, I like that it gives you an explanation. Uh, this is something I just want to 
share with the viewers mm -hmm. is that if you click uh, each of these, it will tell you what exactly the icon means and explain in good detail what exactly yes. the level reward does. And you can click the icons you haven't yet unlocked as well. So you can click, maybe go ahead and click on nine there. Uh, Friendship. Yes, and now you'll see what comes with that. In this case, it's another big stat increase for your horse. That um, being said, I also want to hear what you players, you guys, what what you have, or would you like to see for these um, slots that haven't been filled yet? What would you like to see as future horse level up rewards? Mm -hmm. That's a That's great, great idea. terminology. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that would be really good to hear what you all say to that. Um, we'd love all the ideas you've got. Um, but yes, so at level 7, uh, this unlocks two features that many of you are quite familiar with in-game already, as well as a brand new one. So first we'll talk about the... the I think right now uh, we've been calling it Special Move and Special Gate. Uh, with this update, we'll be kind of renaming those to Special Trick and Special Movement. And special tricks are those space bar kind of emotes, those actions that your horse has. And special movements are things that your horse does that puts them in, like they move forward as they're doing the animation. Like this uh, one. Yes. Is it a shuffle? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not great on the terminology here. But... I, think, I think it's Abby Amble. Abby Amble? That's the one, Abby Amble, yep. yeah. So I so... like alliteration, so I usually push for that. <laughs> Yep, yep. So some of the some of the special the things we were calling special gates, uh, they really actually weren't gates for horses. They were movements. They were they were things your horse could do or learn to do, uh, but they aren't they weren't all explicitly gates. Uh, so we just wanted to, to correct some of the terminology around that. We didn't want anyone to to think we don't know our horses. Um, but so this unlocks for players on new horses at level 7 or so. Uh, yes. Uh, then over to the follow horse. This is our big new, uh, one of our big new features here. Something that players have been asking for for a long time and we've wanted years, to do. 11 years, 12 years. 11 years. <laughs> the, whole, the whole time I've wanted to hear. And it's creepy and I love it. I love stalker horses. This is fantastic. <laughs> yes, I think Stalker horses is a is a correct term for this. There, perhaps. there was a bug when we first started testing, and I couldn't get the horse to stop following me, and it was sheer panic. And it <laughs> so <loved> it. <laughs> let's go ahead and and walk around the the paddock behind us here, and I'm off my horse too. Uh, so you can think of this as uh, kind of an extension of the. Oh, you got a you're seeing the inside of a horse there. There you go. <laughs> uh, you can think of this as an expansion or an extension of the lead rope. Your connection with your horse has grown so much that you've taught your horse to follow you even when you're dismounted and your hands are free, right? So this is a great way for those players who want to be doing a lot of quests that require you to dismount from your horse and you don't want to lose your horse. This is a great way to, to kind of keep track of your horse and to uh, be able to role play certain moments as well. Um, I, I see a, a comment from Abadir Wynn. Uh, I would love to see a bit through there, the idea of having the horse follow a bit further away. That's a great idea. Uh, I think the team is, is very interested in iterating on or updating this in the future with all sorts of different small improvements and ways we can uh, change things. So that's, that's great feedback. Um, yes, but that's follow horse. And, and it's important to note that you can see other players do it too. Uh, we've made sure that this is, is networked correctly and, and everyone can see. Um, I'm seeing some other good feedback. The range is a bit long when running. Uh, there's a lot of feedback we've gotten from the community as this has been shared the past couple of weeks, and we haven't had the chance to go through and make any big changes now. We want to listen to all the feedback before we take any action, uh, but we're very interested in, in adding some additional polish to this before it goes out. Um, so great feedback. Thank you so much. Uh, maybe we'll go ahead and mount back up and we can level up a couple more times. Dun, da, da. And I 
have another shared moment, which is nice. I guess we can go through another one because I have one as well. Uh, have we touched on how often or how frequent they will be? Yes, uh, between okay. every 20 to 40 minutes. Good, good. Uh, I'm seeing a question in the chat. May I ask if there's more keybinds or shortcuts for different commands and global store <laughs> as well? Yes, absolutely. Uh, oops, you can see the inside of my horse's eyeballs. There we go. <laughs> Take a step back with them. Uh, but uh, uh, yes, absolutely. We're, we're looking to add a, a bunch of uh, hotkeys to uh, a lot of the new commands we have, as well as a lot of those uh, kind of big important features that you already interact with quite a lot, like the global store, for example. Uh, and I believe even the writing club uh, screen doesn't have a hotkey yet. So we'll, we'll make sure we get those as well. Um, I yes. think it's G for the writing club. It's G for the writing club. Pro tip of the day. Uh-huh. Oh. Um, okay, so Spotlight is, is he's doing things. Uh, it says, while you're not looking, spotlight, spotlight nibbles at your hair. So I can laugh at him and his silliness and give him a hug. I can scold him for messing up my hair, or I can ignore the behavior as there are more important things to pay attention to. Which uh, I would love in the future to see my character acting accordingly to which option I choose here. So if it says, for example, you pat the horse to calm him down, that my character actually does that, that would be absolutely great. Also, I would ask everyone watching to please if you have feedback provide it in a respectful manner and respect that this is an artist's work or several artists they put a lot of time and effort into this and saying that something looks horrible does not help anyone it doesn't provide any feedback on what can be done better so if you don't like something please let us know what we can do to change it to make you feel better about it we can't guarantee that we can implement these changes, but we will take it into consideration when we continue working on these updates. Mm -hmm. Also, I want to add that the UI or HUD isn't final, so there will be more changes to come, but this look is what was more, most practical right now for yes. the changes we wish to implement. And I think after so, yes. we finish running through some of the horse progression stuff, I want to take a moment and actually talk about the UI and the HUD and where we're going. Because we've heard a lot of feedback that it, the new UI doesn't really feel as star-stable as everybody wants it to feel. And we kind of really expect it to feel. Uh, so uh, I'll get into that soon. So I, I, I can read in what you're saying that, you know, you're very passionate about this and you, you want us to make improvements. So do we. And so give us a little bit and I'll, I'll we'll t dig into that a bit more. Yes. Yes. I think uh, someone worded it really nicely. Is that uh, give feedback the way you would give it to a friend if you want them to stay your friend? Because we are people at the end of the day, and we really want to give you the best product we can, and we would like to have a good discussion in order to get to that point. So yes, yeah. thank you. Let's move on. Yes, brilliant. That was so uh, nice. That was so. You guys did a great job. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> It's my first time on a stream, and I'm just doing my best, dang it. Yeah! I think you're doing amazing. Uh, why don't we go ahead and level up a couple more times with the horse trainer, uh, and we'll, we'll cover the last couple parts of this. I wish I could decide in this menu how many levels I want to do. Oh, hey, I'll tell you. <laughs> we wanted to make so many changes and improvements to this. <laughs> And we we decided that if we just kept making it slowly, the project grew bigger and bigger and bigger. And we thought, mm -hmm. dang it, if we start to improve this too much, then this, you know, uh, this won't come out for years. And we really want to get this out and in players' hands as soon as possible. Uh, so, I, yes. Well, that's probably a good, maybe a good thing to touch on is that our team is so passionate. Some of us... And I will take the blame for this, have to be the bad guy and go in and say, no, oh, guys, the scope of this is way too big. I know we want to tackle everything, but we need to cut down, otherwise we'll never be able to get anything out. So there's a few things that we had to say 
no, we can't tackle that in that in this project. We need to wait until until next time. And uh, you'll yeah. see that in a few things. The horse trainer, the how the character levels up, how stable care works. You could you could add anything onto this project, and we just kind of had to set a priority so that we could focus our attention. <laughs> It's a bit. good thing you held me back, Stacy, because I, I had I... to a couple times. I know <laughs> Breton would come to me and say, "We want to do this," and I would say, "Not for this project. Have a nice day." <laughs> no, not this time. <laughs> and I'd beg and plead, and yes, yes. But, uh, I'm very proud with what we've got. I'm susceptible uh, to gifts, so if you want, to... <laughs> ah, dang it, is that the secret? If you want, you to... can't tell me this at this stage of the come, project. Come with chocolate next time. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, we have fast-tracked our way to level 15, right? And I want to point out a couple more, uh, or a, a, a couple more things as, as part of the upgrade. So if you go to the level up screen one more time here, uh, I can just recap what we've got. Uh, yes. So can we also, sorry, mm -hmm. while I do this, um, just point out that Star Stable has different teams working on different projects. So the fact that we are now focusing on the horse progression and the uh, HUD update does not mean that we are not working on story quests and bug fixes and other really important things to get you going in the main story and other stories. Um, but one team can only do so much because they have their own professions and skills and knowledge, uh, mm. while another team has something entirely different. So everything is being prioritized in the way we can with the resources we have um, and just because one update is coming does not mean that we are not working really hard to get you the character 2.0 as soon as we can yes yes i can I... add that a little bit that we currently have a festival in production we have a main quest in production we have a secondary quest in production and we have this in production so there are and multiple horses so there are always multiple things going on at any given time depending on the time of year and what the projects are so the next primary quests are coming they're coming sooner probably than you think the next festival is coming equestrian happens in the spring that's coming um, I more think horses. everything is coming sooner than they think. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff ongoing. <laughs> yes, and with we're the, not a big the team, roadmap but posted they come today. A lot. Yeah, yeah. With the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The next three weeks are going to be really interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So make mm -hmm. sure to tune in for that. Yes. Uh, so I can just briefly point out here that at level nine and level thirteen, that's when we got our big stat boosts, and we're going to go much faster at those levels, much more noticeably. Uh, we decided to make level 13 be the level that the horse gets the last big boost of stats because we still want you to get the XP from championships and be able to really meaningfully compete in championships with horses that still get the benefit of XP. Um, and then at level 11, this here is where we unlock uh, the call command. Uh, this is a new command that you can uh, make with your horse that we'll get into just momentarily. Uh, Yes, I'll, I'll share this momentarily. I just want to cap on number 15 real quick. Uh, the stable nameplate. Uh, so we don't have something to show with this today. Uh, we've shared with ambassadors who have maybe shared what this will look like. Uh, but we want to make sure that at level 15, when you know your, your connection with your horse has is, is really reached a good, satisfying spot, uh, you can kind of begin the journey with the next horse. And as you walk through your stable, you'll see all the horses you've got that you've completed this journey with all the way up to level 15 with new golden twinkling nameplates so that they really stand out and pop. So you can invite friends and other players over to your home stable to kind of show off the magnificent selection of max level horses you've collected. Uh, and with that, maybe we'll transition back to the call command. Uh, and let's go ahead and show that off quick. Dun, dun, dun. Might want to... I need to reiterate distance. on the UI again while we're showing this off because it's come up again. We'll dive into this a bit more. Yep. As Breton mentioned, once we cover this, um, the UI shown now will be likely to change. 
I think a lot of the functionality that we're building is what's the most important, but the visual and some of the other cosmetic stuff will change. So if you have any feedback, of course, it's welcome, but this is not the end of the road by any means. So feel exactly. free to share your thoughts kindly. I also have a post on my Instagram uh, where you can leave, uh, say for the information to this stream, if you find that post on my profile, you can leave any thoughts there or you can leave a comment here or send me a DM if you want and I will pass it along to the team afterwards. And we do want to listen. We really, really care. I can't express that enough. I keep pressing uh, the wrong button. <laughs> Yes, but go ahead and uh, call the horse again. Uh, so, you can open this. And now, no matter how far away I am from my horse, if it's lost or if I'm just lazy, uh, at level 9 and up, I can use the call command to whistle and call my horse to come running to me. Uh, it, to make... it are sounds on. Can they hear the whistle? That's a good I question. Am not there sure. are I've a been... lot of sa new sounds. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have, for this stream, I have tried to make the sound of the game not be too overpowering. Gotcha. I'm not sure how right. that went, but yeah. But So okay. there is no max distance then from where you call, can call the horse. Okay, it's, yes, a couple it, people. Yeah. Is it from anywhere? Yes, you can do it from anywhere. Uh, the only places the horse can't get to you uh is anywhere the horses usually can't reach, such mm -hmm. as Jorvik City or the mall, or if you are somehow balanced very carefully on the peak of a mountain and the horse will fall if it tried to get to you, it's not going to try that hard, okay? I uh, to the ice cream well, shop they're all the going to test it. You know they're going to test I, it. I, I, <laughs> I promise they're going to, well, they're going to do it. They're probably going to find a way to do it. <laughs> how that's going to go. <laughs> I can't yeah. wait to see the videos. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Uh, but that shows off a lot of the new features of horse progression. Um, do we have any uh, questions related to the new features, the call horse, the follow horse? Um, anything about that that we want to dig into? Uh, otherwise, we'll jump into the next topic, uh, the future of UI and the HUD of our game. I love how you make it sound ethereal, the future of UI. <laughs> well, they can't, they can't see the hand waving. The hands, right? yeah. I'm a hand talker. You're only hearing <laughs> half of what I have to say. And gang, there's so much breathing room that we wanted to create with this project as well, so that, you know, there's more that can be added on later. Yes. We're, we're very excited with what we've been able to create. But another one of those scoping things where we said, you know what, let's... Let's take a step back, leave some space, have our Eurovision citizens tell us, you know, what they would like to see next, and then we can iterate on it. Mm. Um, so there's definitely more intense projects to come. We've touched previously on personalities or prestiging, but even on this, we want to make sure that there's room for us to iterate and make sure that we're delivering on your desires and expectations. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and maybe I can just answer a quick question regarding uh, the the prices to the horse trainer. Uh, the total price is about a thousand Jorvik shillings, uh, and it has been significantly reduced at every level to now be much more affordable. So uh, the the way we're seeing players mostly use this is to either get the first few levels, which you'll notice is is significantly cheaper, um, or to get that last level or two. Uh, which is also much cheaper than it is today. Uh, the prices will be updated before the rest of the uh, before the rest of the big updates for horse progression come out. So it should be quite soon. I don't know if I'm allowed to say when, but very, very soon. Which one? Which which one? Uh, the the trainer repricing and the low level speed increases and all of that within the next roadmap. Yeah. Yep. Yes. That's, we posted that's the roadmap teaser. today. It's within that roadmap. Mm -hmm. uh, we... and yes, sorry. I, I was just going to jump on the, uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Repatsui's comment. Will this was, work with I the oldest? I was just going to address that. Yes. Yep, go ahead. <laughs> okay, yes. So uh, if it's going to work on the oldest, crustiest, dustiest horses we have, aka the generation 1 and 2 and 1.5, 
uh, yes, it's going to work on all horses, but we will not be implementing new functionalities like special moves or tricks to these horses. So they will still have the skills they have, um, but they will be able to follow you and they will come when you call for them, if you have reached that in training. Yes, absolutely. You, you both just fought to say oldest, crustiest, dirtiest horse, didn't you? I that wanted to say the oldest, crustiest, dirtiest. Uh, I didn't want to say dirtiest horse, dusty, but the oldest, dustiest. crustiest, dustiest horse. Uh, Crusty, although, I, I I promise people would love to see like their horses to get muddy and dirty after running around in the world. So, uh, it, I'm sure. What dusty. just happened to the chat? I'm not sure what Ebba did. I think that oh, probably Abba. something you said uh -oh. ignited some, inspired some players to <gasps> use the chat. So. Uh oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> but uh, maybe we can launch into the UI. Yes. Yes. And I suppose the background to, to this, feel free just to run around or do quests or you can, you know, um, we can we can strut our stuff in Yorvik. Um, but let me pull up we here. Forget. It's fine. Yeah. Thank you for hanging out with us. She's leaving now. Thank you so much, Eva, for hanging out and for moderating. For moderating as well. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You have been a champ, and I'm very appreciative of that. Thank yes. you, and have a great rest of your day, Eva. Always love to the moderators. It's not an easy job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for acknowledging it as a community moderator. I appreciate the love. <laughs> also, even if it's not for me. <laughs> no, I, I did it for a very long time. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I can just mention, because I'm seeing a, a, a comment in here that I was really passionate about, which was adding or attaching animations to match the, the shared moments we have in our game. Um, yes, I would absolutely love to. Right now, we really weren't able to. Our animators are hard at work on exciting stuff I can't quite talk about today, but uh, we didn't want to attach the animations to that because the way that those are worded is they're more talking about, ah, well, I will do this. If I, if, if I select the option that is, ah, I'm going to reassure my horse, then I as a player can choose how much I actually want to roleplay that. Is that just something that I want my horse to feel that I would care for it? Or do I actually want to dismount and pat my horse and, and connect that way? So it we didn't want to, to slow down or impact gameplay to forcibly show a certain animation. Uh, we'll see how we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But shall we jump into the UI? Yes. Yes, you, you take those questions because I would have blurted out everything that word. It's so hard <laughs> for me not to just announce everything that's happening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but a good example of, of prioritization, one of our animators is currently working with the main quest team. So then mm -hmm. it's, you know, kind of we have to figure out where are they most needed at the time, where they can come, where they can work in the future. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's balancing. I... We only have so many animators. We yeah. need them all. <laughs> look, look, I I really, really empathize with the, the strong need to spoil. I <laughs> my first year of working here when I got my Game Master account, I logged in and this was back when maybe Wildwoods came out or or just before that. But I logged in after the first release of Wildwoods and ran around uh you know, saying with other players asking like, oh, where's the moose? I want to see the moose. And players are like, what? There's a moose? Oh, no. And then I saw on like social media, somebody was like, Game Master B spoils moose are being added to SSO. And I was like, oh, am I going to get in trouble? What's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't told anyone. I took that to my grave. Well, I'd say I took it to my grave, but I took it to the stream. So yeah. <laughs> it's out there now. Um. Yeah, no, but I relate to that. Uh, I have some friends who are very eager to discuss theories, um, and mm. I have just—I've had to take the back seat of these discussions because I'm like, I don't remember what has been shared publicly or not, and I just want to yeah. blurt out <laughs> everything. So I'm like, this—that's a great theory. That's—I love that. That would be great. And yep. they're like, are you hinting something? I'm like, I just said I liked your idea, but who knows? Yeah. 
Esme said we're gonna call you Game Moose B now. Game Moose B. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, but yeah, Esme's UI. Up. Sorry. UI. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we've talked a little bit about you know why make the new uh, the new UI. Um, Largely, it's because the new UI gives us a lot of extra functionality. It gives us access to the new features, and it lets us do things with our horses uh, that players have long wanted to do. Um, I think one of uh, we can maybe talk a little bit about our broader plans for the UI. Uh, we have some really talented UI and UX or user interface and user experience designers working hard on something they're calling the design system. Uh, and the design system is kind of what do the visuals of all of our UI, our buttons, our all of that, what does it look like? Um, and so they're hard at work now on trying to come up with a new system, a new look, so that everything really looks and feels star stable. And we have the same look on the web, on our phones, for the mobile game, and for the desktop. Uh, we're trying to find a singular look that really, really matches Star Stable. And the UI we see here isn't it. We're not there just yet. Uh, we're really proud of this UI, of course, and we've worked very hard on it. And it will likely go out looking something, at least for the first pass, something quite similar to what you see here with some other small improvements made uh, to just make it more accessible and easy to use. Uh, but for the first release of horse progression, the UI might look a lot like it does today. But this year, we're going on a, a grand journey to really see what we can do to update not just the HUD, as you see here, but a lot of the UI in the game. So our tech team is building a new UI 2.0 kind of framework so we can make and change and update UI much more regularly. Um, and to, with the new style, or sorry, the system, the design system, uh, to make sure that we have a coherent kind of visual language for our game and to make sure that it feels really authentically star stable in a way that, you know, the the old nostalgic UI uh, really satisfied uh, for a lot of players. Um, I would love to field questions about the UI. Um, but I don't know if I can go into a ton of detail as to everything we want to add and change and update. Uh, but this is, there's there's quite a few UI uh, uh, projects in the works at the moment. Uh, yes. I think, I think a good example could be the icons because I know that there's like research now about what is our style for icons and yeah. how do we want the icons. So right now you can see they're, a, a little bit jagged or the shape of the people maybe that's not how you want them to so there's a lot of thought that goes behind yeah. the style of an icon and that's part of one of the things we want to tackle so right now we're kind of using what is there what exists mm. to be a little consistent um, because yeah. this is how some of them look on the mobile but going forward you know that might be something that changes overall because we don't we want them to be slightly more rounded or slightly more cartoony or yeah. you know whatever the choices become so those are things that we're going to adventure uh, that's a good example of what we're going to adventure yes in yes next yeah and and i can maybe answer here as well uh we've got a lot of ui projects in the works right like we it rolled into the horse progression the new dialogue portraits we have for the character and horse, that should roll out to every quest line we have in the game where the horse or the player has a moment of interaction. So you should see the new icons uh, much more regularly. And that's a bit of a side initiative, but it'll be coming out with horse progression as well. Um, I know there's also some big plans for this upcoming festival that also require a bit of new UI because it's big, new, interesting gameplay that we want to try out with everybody. Um, or I want to ask for hints, but I'm scared we might say too much. <laughs> uh, I'll leave it to Stacy to spoil things because I, <laughs> I, it feels more acceptable when she does it. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we talked but... about it. We talked about it in the end of the year blog. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll oh. leave it there. I did. Yeah. And oh then, yeah. Go then read the end, end of the year. The, the year January blog. blog. Yeah. 
January. What no. coming in twenty twenty three? Yeah. Yeah, yeah one too. of them. Yeah. <laughs> Both. Go read the blogs. They have great information about what goes on behind the game. Yes. Um, and then for the the old horse hoof menu, uh, uh, the horse hoof is really near and dear, and we're we're not sure if this first pass of the of the HUD is going to include it. But that's absolutely something that I know the team is going to consider when it comes to uh, the design system, the new visual layout that we want all of our UI to have. Um, that might be something we look into. Um, but yes, maybe that's actually just about all I had to say with the, the HUD and UI. Um, but I just wanted to take a moment and to acknowledge that we've gotten a lot of really good feedback. And while a lot of players really see, they really like the new HUD, uh, some players really miss the old HUD. And we really acknowledge that. And we want to take a moment to make sure that you all know that we really respect that. The old HUD is really dear to us as well. It's just we could not do things with it that we really want to in the future. And so this is a first step in laying the groundwork for some big, exciting stuff, changing a star stable. Uh, and don't, the don't panic now... is what, yes. what B is saying. Don't panic. Yes, <laughs> yes. Don't panic. And uh, this is not the final look. By the end of the year, a lot of this will likely look different. Even if the first release of horse progression, it may look quite similar to this. And it, it, as we mentioned before, and it's probably worth iterating again, um, there are people that have worked on this. There are artists that have worked on this, and it's still we still really like and approve of what they done. They've done, even if it changes. So just remember that when giving feedback as well. Like it, constructive feedback is always preferred over kind of the dramatic. I hate this. This is awful. That hurts people's feelings, and I think that can be forgotten sometimes when you know we're we're talking about a game, but we're also talking about someone's work. So good to remember that too. I think Our I poor also sweet wanna... UI designer. He's very <laughs> soft. He's very sweet. I also want to say <laughs> that uh, we do read all of your comments. We can't always get back to it or give you the answer you want or answer right away but we read every single comment and we see what you're saying and we are gathering the feedback and we are delivering it to the team as best as we can and mm -hmm. sometimes we are pestering them sometimes they agree with us and they do their best to make sure that everyone is as happy as they can be um, mm -hmm. because you can't please everyone but they do their best to make sure that everyone finds something they're like they like with the updates throughout the year yeah, and there's one really great comment here by Nightmare Wolf One Three Three. Is you know I miss the player and horse names being visible on the HUD. One thing that we'd really like to consider is allowing players right now those names and the the XP bars appear if you mouse over them. If you could mouse over them quick. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Yes. Um. So one thing we'd like to do is to allow players to click a little pin button that pins that open. So it doesn't close when I mouse off of it. Uh, that way players, they can play with the uh, XP bars visible and with the names visible. So that's not totally lost. But that is really great advice and that actually gives us something we can tangibly improve. Thank you. I wish you could see the violent hand movement that B did for pinning. <laughs> yeah. They're holding a pen. It was uh, a there's pen. some great expression going on here. It was yeah, pending. and I think... Uh, being able to pin the the name tag here with the XP bar could please both players who want to see the XP bar and those who are terribly tired of being level 22 going nowhere closer to 23. That being said, there has been quite a lot of XP with the new requests. That being player XP, and I'm guessing there's more to come because the team is really working hard to get some more story quests out and other fun content. Yes. Um. <laughs> yes, I've called out Pixley Fox here. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe now, we've talked about HUD and we've covered a lot of stuff during the horse progression portion of this all and, and now a little bit here answering some questions. Maybe now we can step into the future of horse bonding because horse bonding is something that 
we wrote some blog posts about last year and we're really, really passionate about here at Star Stable. Um, and Stacy, feel free to jump in, but maybe we just want to talk about it being one of the big pillars of the game, something we're really trying to focus on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is something I wanted to establish stepping into the game direction role. Uh, we have three main pillars of the game that we focus on, and the very first one is horses and bonding. Um, mm -hmm. We also have story and fantasy and player and community. Um, so this is a focus on horses and how we interact with them. Story and fantasy is is our world, and of course, of course, the primary story with the Soul Riders and the Dark Riders, but also those quirky side stories like we have with um, Marley's Farm or the Baroness's Racetrack. And we also have player and community. So how important the player character is, your customization with that character, and uh, how you interact with each other. So multiplayer has been a big topic for us as well. How are we going to implement more multiplayer content? Which I think you you heard of some of this in the latest blog post as well. Um, but so the horse progression, horse bonding, horse progression is part of horse bonding. And horse bonding falls under that big main pillar of of horse bonding really so we're exploring the projects that we can do there and then like i mentioned earlier how to iterate on those projects um thankfully we released the new horse purchasing experience and that was that was super awesome we haven't gone back to iterate it on it as much because a lot of it was really successful um, but we do anticipate now like this is a big change for the game this this is going to be huge we're doing a little a couple of the releases early on and then Horse progression as a whole will be released a little bit uh, later. And of course, we anticipate a lot of growth here. This is just the beginning. There's space for us to add more, to do more, to come back and iterate once you get some uh, experience and more hands on with it. We're getting a lot of good feedback now, but I can only imagine that's going to, you know, tenfold. <laughs> We're going to get feedback when everybody gets to play it. Uh, so we'll want to do some iterations there. But then, uh, like B said, there's a lot for us to look forward to in the future. And that's where we tie into prestige and personalities and making yes. your horses feel more alive yes. and unique. And I think one of the things that, that when I joined Star Stable about two and a half, almost three years ago, I, I thought... The future of Star Stable is in making sure that players really, truly feel a connection with their horse. That it's not a vehicle, that it's 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 a, their companion, like a virtual friend, a virtual pet that you yes, can really your, build your a horse is not a it's not an item, it's not a vehicle, it is a friend. That is that's a really good point. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, and and that's something that when we talk about horse bonding. I've seen some comments online like, oh, when's horse bonding coming? Is this the horse bonding update? The answer is a lot of what we're working on is horse bonding, right? Starting all the way back with, you know, even like the horse purchasing, we we chose our words there and we try to give, give customization options so that you can make the horse more your own. You can build a relationship, just get you thinking about who is my horse? You know, what gender is my horse? How old is my horse? Some really simple questions just to kickstart, get the players thinking, get you all thinking, well, who is this horse? And who am I? And what relationship do we have? Um, Why? And things like, things like this, where it's about leveling up and building that relationship with your horse is something that we really want to highlight. But yes, goodbye, Jess. Farewell. <laughs> Thank I didn't want to interrupt you there. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you too for moderating and for being the real MVP and for making the overlay for the stream. In what? It's basically beautiful. yes, I know. I was like, I want Pandoria, awesome. and I want it in two days. And Jess was like, Yeah, I can uh... do. And then <laughs> she whipped up this, and I am absolutely in love with the concept of it. Oh, that's fabulous. That's so great. But yes, horse bonding is forever. Yes. This is a forever thing for us. This is putting focus on your horses is a, a and, base pillar for us. And and I think that's right, Stacey. I mean, truly, when is horse bonding done? It, I, we may never get there. We, no. we will forever be improving the connection that you have with your horse in the star stable. That's our goal. That's what we want to do. But I, I guess uh, that 
I think we've covered a lot of what I had to say about horse progression, the future of the UI, and kind of where we want to go with horse bonding as a foundational pillar of our game. Um, is there anything else that, hey, you or Stacy, you want to cover? A couple of questions. Again, stable care was mentioned. Stable care will not be changed currently. That was one of those things I said was outside of the scope of the project, despite the team wanting to touch stable care. It is something we would like to look into in the future. Is it giving what we want it to? Is it valuable to the players? Is it worthwhile? Is it rewarding versus punishing? Those types of topics. So stable yeah. care, not yet, but something we, we do want to look into. Yes. Oh, and... horse customization. Oh, sorry. I got excited <laughs> for the next thing. Uh, I, I maybe just wanted to jump in quick and say, I've also uh, seen online that there were some people, maybe we've already touched on this, that were concerned that we might be resetting the level of their horse. Uh, we will absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Yes, but maybe you, we covered that early on, actually. Yeah, uh, horse I customization. Think it doesn't hurt repeating oh, it as well. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, we could just sit here and repeat ourselves for the next three hours, I think, just to make sure <laughs> we get everything. Something through. I tell the team all the time. Anytime you think you've said something enough, say it 10 more times. Repeat, yeah. repeat, repeat. Um, mm -hmm. But customization is a hot topic because I started to talk about breeding. And that is something that we had wanted to do discovery on, we want to mm -hmm. talk about. We have a lot of people at the company very passionate about breeding. A lot of voices in in the community said that they are interested in horse customization. Why don't you look into customizing your horse? So uh, when we do kind of a discovery later this year for um, breeding, I ask that it kind of be a bit of a broader topic and include a customization. Is breeding the way we want to go? We don't know yet. We haven't done the discovery. So I wanted to yeah. also include the feedback on customization. Are there things or steps we could do to make the horse customizable. I know that separating mm -hmm. mane and tail comes up, adding clippings comes up, being able to choose your coat, mm -hmm. the markings on your horse. That's something I really would like the team to look into because there was so much interest and excitement about it when we started talking about breeding. Yeah. So, no, no promises yet, but I, we, I do want to explore. I would love to write a blog post with Lotta about breeding and customization and everything else to come as a part of that. Lot is our uh, main character, our lead character artist, uh, who's been working on breeding as kind of her main passion project. Did yes. you want me to write that down? Are you planning a blog post? Uh, Do I maybe, need to... <laughs> maybe. I mean, they maybe. were waving the pen, so yes. you might as well. <laughs> yes. I've already begun out. typing it out on the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I mean, if you guys have any more questions uh, and if B and Stacy have time to sit around for five more minutes you can do yeah. a, a quick shot of a quick fire or whatever you call it just send your questions now before we <laughs> call it a day and we who will knows what I will tell you about yeah exactly <laughs> home stable and... customization yes we are going to do it inventory revamp has to happen first and if I'm correct or maybe not but the HUD update does that in any way tie into the inventory revamp or is it not uh like... yes so it lays the groundwork for us to make some big improvements to the inventory uh we see pretty repeatedly that the inventory is causing players a lot of problems uh that is right after we finish up horse progression uh we've got some passion people who are very passionate about inventory uh, and so I'll I'll be working with them to help figure out the future of inventory too. And on the topic of updated HUD and UI and inventory and all of that, this is also the groundwork for having multiple accessories, if I'm right. This, yes. yes. So martingales, yep. ear bonnets, and mustaches and glasses and you name yes. it. This is all yes. very important groundwork for things we have requested for literally yes. so it's not a bad thing that we're doing this it's very very good yes yes the the inventory project is much bigger than just making the inventory nice it, mm -hmm. it lays the technical groundwork for a lot of things that player 2.0 also is laying the groundwork for right to give you even more customization options yeah fast favorite horse breed mine currently is Pasofino. Hmm? 
Hmm? I, I gotta be honest, me too, actually. I mean, mm. I like the magical horses. I'm a, I'm a sucker for a lot of, like... <laughs> Why doesn't that surprise me? You know, it's all the Halloween horses. I'm a Halloween-y kind of person, so... <laughs> Did you see the Laverna tattoo? Someone got a Laverna tattoo? <gasps> yes. No. That was beautiful. Yeah. No. It's oh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. absolutely. Love Wasn't the design drawn by Ange, one of our ambassadors? Oh, I don't Things? remember. Yeah. Hey, you didn't tell us your fa your favorite breed. Oh, I mean, you can have a guess. Look at the screen once, and uh, <laughs> you will be fifty percent correct. Because I think my other favorite, uh, as and a passionate love of of bay horses, uh, I also really love the Belgian Warmblood. But yeah, the Belgian mm. Warmblood and the Appaloosa are my absolute yeah, favorite. Yeah, they're pretty. Like, how can you not love this? Cheeky little horse. It's just so full of personality and spots Aww. and colors, and it's bay, and it's just ah, everything That's I fair. want. That's fair. Are we still <laughs> Did on I mention track? It's player two point oh this year. We are still on track. Yes. Yes. I'm not going to give you the, a specific date. We have a date in mind, uh, but I don't want to give a date because it's really hard to say a date and then something happened and you can't deliver, and there's a lot of disappointment. In that. Well. And and with the the deadlines or the dates, the release dates for stuff like horse progression and player two point oh, a lot of that depends on how much feedback we get, what kind mm -hmm. of feedback we get. Uh, so, yeah, but soon, hopefully yeah. soon. Um, I also want to mention, uh, can we get horse stamina and the horse slowing down like before? Uh, there is a lot of discussions, my friend, about what we can do to make sure that the horse progression was about making the journey of leveling up 1 to 15 as enjoyable as possible uh we're we're having a lot of conversations about what we can do to make the moment to moment the uh, gameplay of just running and riding around Jorvik as enjoyable as possible uh so there's conversations being had to look into that too so whether that's stamina i'm not sure but you have uh, to sell me real hard on stamina <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, you hear that? But I we did fight see... Up. Speaking of bribe stamina, Stacey. I... <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> what kind of chocolate? Not white chocolate. Ugh. Oh, okay. Um, I, I don't know that. about you. Oh, no. I'm a white my. and dark chocolate. Oh. Milk chocolate, yes. <laughs> there, there was there was also a really good uh, uh, question from Dragonflyer here I just want to touch on quick. Um, and that is... Uh, is this the base we want to use in the future? Uh, especially with like the transparencies map in the corner, it's all of that. Um, this is the base for the functionality of what we want to do in the future. Everything that you can do with the new UI, yes. The actual looks, the transparency, a lot of that. Uh, I'd really love to look into customization options or, or making things uh, scalable for, for players just for an accessibility point of view. Um, but yes, all really good feedback. Thank you. Yes, and, and so I did, not a, sorry. oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did see a great suggestion in the chat earlier, which was uh, speaking of stamina, to uh, have you like um, how do I explain this? Before we made the speed permanent, the horse would slow down, mm -hmm. um, and someone suggested adding this as a feature for the lower levels of your horse. And then when you train it, like say a level 10, it stops slowing down. So maybe that could also make it worth training your horse, like some very yeah. visible changes yeah. for when you ride. Yeah, that's great. Uh, great feedback, great ideas. Um, will the mobile UI be getting an update as well? Uh, yes. And some of those will be updated with the horse progression, but also when we come closer to having the design uh, system that the UI team is working on, uh, we will likely see even more uh, changes to the UI and visuals of that. And not all windows are being updated. So like here you see the photo mode window is is not yeah. necessarily the new. Those uh, only certain windows were touched. So some of them will yeah. still remain how they look now after the update. Yeah. Again, yeah. that was a scoping decision where where we kind of went in and said, okay, we need to, we need to cut some things out or this will never end. Yeah, yeah. And and Orgo, you, you mentioned uh, how will the missions log change with the new UI? Uh, it likely won't 
as part of the horse progression update, but I know that uh, our UI team has a lot of big ambitions for what we can do to make the the mission log or the quest log uh, easier to navigate and more informative. If you have coat requests, please send them in to us. We're always interested to know what additional coat variations you want to see on the horses. Absolutely. Yes. If you have feedback, you can, I guess, leave them in our comment section, or you can go directly to our support team at starstable.com slash support and share your ideas with them, because they also do a lot of great work bringing your feedback to the rest of the team in our very fun meetings. I would have to say, I've never been so excited to go to meetings as I have since I started working <laughs> here. It's like, I have a meeting today. It's great. <laughs> Exciting meetings. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm on the other end of that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No, but that's because you're the one telling are... the fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stacy and I. So much of it is is meetings. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I just wanna wanna thank everybody today for this is my first time being on a stream and this was so much fun. So thank you to uh, Hey and to Stacy for having me today. And thank you, everyone, who's tagged along to watch and listen to me <laughs> ramble for an hour. I was very proud. I, I talked about horse progression and got most of everything I wanted to say out about it done in almost an hour, which is like a, a record for me. Usually I go on and on for hours. So. <laughs> That's true. This... There was a lot of requests for you to record audiobooks. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll I'm listen. flattered. I'm flattered. Maybe we should start <laughs> or maybe just be have their own podcast section <laughs> alongside of the podcasts we already have it's just b talks mm -hmm. about moose and other fun stories <laughs> <laughs> that time i spoiled insert everything <laughs> by oh, logging into my game title. master account yeah no but on a serious note thank you so much to game master b and game master stacy for tagging along and for how do you say it? G giving me the honors, doing the honors of mm -hmm. joining today, and to yeah, I'm I'm over the moon really. Um, so thankful to everyone who watched and asked questions for us to answer, and for sharing your ideas. And uh, yeah, maybe there will be a next time if there is more fun things to share. I think there should be. This was phenomenal. Give me literally yeah. any excuse to talk about what I'm working on. And yes. <laughs> I wish you could see the lists and the planning that went into this. I think a regular occurrence would be too much. <laughs> I, I plan. Absolutely. I organize things. Like, Brenton, I need you to do work, not, not make lists for the podcast. But there are great lists. I mean, I might subscribe to some of those. Just, mm -hmm. yeah, can you send me a list for the week? Thank you. <laughs> Oh. Uh, okay. Brilliant. Yes, thank you all very much. Yes. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Yeah, or day. It's not even. Or evening. day. Have a great or rest I, of your day, as we say, this. when we work with the US team and the Europe team. It's just a great rest of your day, or week, or however long you wish to have a great time. And do, I, do at you... least, will see you. What? I was just going to say, do you usually have like a, a punchy one-liner, like a right on, Star Riders, or something cool <laughs> and snappy? Do I don't, like but that now one? that's going to be the one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, then. Right on, Star Riders, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Bye.